Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video we've got a double unboxing, another double unboxing. We did one a couple months ago where we looked at the G-Wolves, Hottie, and the MM710. Now we're doing another one and this one is all Razer. Razer has been killing it recently, coming out with a ton of stuff. And in today's video we're going to be taking a look at two of the Razer's uh, remastered mice, I'll call them. But one of them most definitely needed a desperate upgrade. So of course I'm talking about the Razer Death Adder. This one is gonna be the first one that we're gonna take a look at in terms of unboxing. It's been a while since I've used the Death Adder, especially as my main mouse. And um, yeah, we're gonna see if this thing has what it takes. I heard that it's a lot lighter now. It's actually like around 80 grams. And that's uh, pretty impressive. I'm glad they finally decided to update the weight of this thing. I feel like it took long enough so hopefully 80 grams is a big enough difference and i hope that it's a huge difference compared to the over 100 grams that the old death adder used to be i actually still have my first death adder too and then the other mouse that we're going to be taking a look at today is going to be the basilisk v2 so we're going to be doing a double unboxing see what comes in the box of both of these mice give you guys my uh, quick impressions and then I'll plug one of these bad boys up all right you guys let's go ahead and get into the unboxing starting first with the updated Razer Death Adder V2. I mean, I'm surprised that they're just now going with this V2 naming scheme, probably because this is the first time they significantly reduced the weight. Maybe that's why they're going with the V2, because they have had a ton of different versions of the Death Adder. Unfortunately, we didn't need to use our knife right there. Wish we did, it would be nice. Well, this is a super simple unboxing. Cable, the new speed flex cable. Okay, we're gonna rip this. Well, that was easy. Wow. Yeah, that was a super simple unboxing. Was there some stickers in here? Yep, some stickers. They got some new stickers too, like Razor Chroma stickers and whatnot. Okay, yo, this thing is a lot lighter than the previous. Let me put this knife away before I freaking cut myself. But dude, this thing is way lighter than the old. Death Adder. I have a Death Adder Chroma in my bin over there somewhere. Maybe I'll dig it out. But dude, 80 grams, and you can feel it. I would almost consider this a lightweight Ergo Mouse. Almost, almost. These feet, they kind of feel like the Viper's feet. Probably got to play with them for a couple hours to break them in, but they are way better than what they used to be. Holy crap. Yeah, this is a totally different mouse. Familiar shape, good size, super comfortable. Recessed DPI buttons. Scroll wheel is pretty decent too. Feels updated and better. Optical switches, heck yeah. Both of these actually feature the optical switches, so I guess they're just applying that to their entire product line now, so good job, Razer. Oh, these side buttons are nice. They got some integrated rubber sides here, so you shouldn't have to worry about them coming off after a long period of time. I know that was kind of a bigger issue with some of the uh, Steel Series mice, like the Rival 600 and 650. The Speedflex cable is the same one that's on the OG Viper. And personally, I think the Razer Speedflex cable is the best like OEM from like a big mouse company. This is definitely like the best paracord. Like the weave is just so quality on it and it's like super flexible too. Yeah, the hotties cable is a little bit better. It's a little bit less stiff. Like you can tell the cable in here is definitely a little bit more stiff than what's in the hottie. Yeah, maybe that's why I've been using the hottie so much recently. But yeah, this death adder, I will say this hottie at like 60-ish grams is noticeably lighter than this death adder V2. But this is definitely a huge upgrade over the old Death Adder. And anyone that still plays with the Death Adder will really appreciate that, that's for sure. I love how they got these huge mouse feet right here. I cannot wait to break these things in. This thing feels absolutely sick. All the switches sound pretty good too. Okay, Death Adder is done. Pretty basic unboxing. There wasn't really a whole lot to that one. Let's go ahead and get into the Basilisk V2. Basically, the Basilisk V2 is the ultimate, but just the wired version, minus a little bit of RGB, um, because I noticed on the Basilisk Ultimate, they have some RGB like on the side of the mouse, and it looks so cool. And I was surprised that they didn't put it on this one because it's wired, and I wish that they did. But the shell is definitely improved over the previous Basilisk. I can tell that like off rip. Better feet, okay, that's uniform. Let me see, where, here it is. 
the little trigger for the third mouse button, or for the third side button, I should say. That was easy to put in. Oh yeah, these mouse feet are fire. This actually might be pretty good for SP FPS. They actually feel pretty similar weight. Super resistant scroll wheel. Definitely totally different scroll wheel. Straight down, left and right for the scroll wheel. DPI. Clicks sound different on both. Side button one, two. Let's turn that resistance down a little bit. I will say this Basilisk probably has one of the best scroll wheels on the market right now, but that's just me. I really like the scroll wheel. You turn the resistance down a little bit and it just, you can feel each and every click, but it just feels like so accurate. Something's nice about it. Oh yeah. All right, so we've got our handy dandy scale and we've got the original Basilisk right here and the Basilisk V2 right here. So obviously off rip, you can see that the arrangement of some of the things is a little bit different, but more or less, it's pretty similar. The mouse feet though, slightly different pattern, updated a little bit. PTFE feet, much better cable. Like this one is super stiff. Yeah, I mean, it's not the worst cable in the world. I wouldn't even call it bad. It's just braided and it's a little bit more, oh yeah, significantly more stiff than the Speedflex cable. So this is definitely a huge upgrade there. Scroll wheel on both. This one's definitely pretty similar. DPI buttons, they made them a little bit smaller. Personally, I kind of like the older DPI buttons a little bit, but I can understand, you know, if uh, you felt like you hit those on accident sometimes, because it looks like it would be a little bit easier to hit. The side buttons, they made them a little bit bigger on the Basilisk Ultimate, and this rubber part also feels better to me personally on this one. So 108 grams for the old Basilisk and 94 and a half grams for the new Basilisk. Yeah, so that is a pretty good weight reduction right there. About, what is that, 12, 13 grams. And then we have our old Death Adder Chroma, 98 grams. Not bad, a bit lighter than I thought, but I, something about it just feels super heavy. And we got 81 grams for the new Death Adder V2. I was putting it on the scale and I was saying like 70 something. I was like, what, are you nuts? No way. But yeah, 81 and a half grams for the Death Adder V2. So significantly lighter in both of them, about 20 grams, just under 20 grams lighter on the Death Adder V2 and a little bit more than 10 grams lighter on the Basilisk V2. I think the first one that I'm gonna use for sure is gonna be the Death Adder V2. Really excited to use this one. The Death Adder, this was actually my first gaming mouse and I'm really excited to go back to the similar form factor, especially now that the switches are improved, the sensor is improved, the skates are improved, the cable is improved, the weight is improved. I mean, yeah, I just rambled off a ton of improvements right there. I can't wait to use this thing, man. This thing looks absolutely sick, feels good. I'm about to use this thing right now. The Basilisk V2, I didn't really spend a ton of time using the Basilisk. I haven't reviewed it just yet, but I do have a video coming up still on the original Basilisk. But all right, you guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. If you guys are interested in the Death Adder V2 or the Basilisk V2, feel free to check the links in the description below to our Amazon affiliate links. Um, it does help out the channel, so if you're interested in either of these mice, feel free to support the channel by purchasing it on Amazon through our links. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. If you guys want to ask me some questions about things that you specifically want me to look into before I do my full review, feel free to jump into the Discord and uh, ask me some more questions there so that maybe in this review you'll get your specific question answered. But all right, guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to drop a like and I'll see you. Main point is that if you have a Switch and you're really worried about this but it hasn't happened to you yet, just keep enjoying your game, okay? It is a almost seemingly random occurrence to experience it and if you do, there are ways.